Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Covering both sides of the big issues with the analysis you trust on News Radio 1040 WHO. Always a pleasure to welcome our next guest to the show. He is the patent professor. Is uh, John Risby? How you doing, John? Yeah, it's good. Excellent. Um, so we brought you on because uh, Mickey uh, Mickey Mouse, the patent for Mickey Mouse, is about to uh, disappear. Um, when that happens, right? Uh, what what does that mean? Does that mean I can make Mickey Mouse stuff? Yeah. So it's it, uh, the copyright's expiring. It's expiring on January first of 2024, which at this point is right around the corner. Yep. Uh, and now it's important to keep in mind it's the original Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse, uh, not the Disney-fied version. The yep. Disney-fied version doesn't expire for about another 10 years or so, January of 2026, uh, about a dozen years. But uh, the, that's about three years. <laughs> Twenty? No, 20, oh, 2036. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Now I yeah, get it. Sorry. Yeah, 2036, January 1st, 2036, uh, the Disney-fied versions are expiring. and But the Steamboat Willie version, is uh, it's a big deal because now anybody can use – well, not now. In about <laughs> two months, anybody will be able to use that version of Mickey Mouse for anything. Right. So I could add uh, the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse to my show logo, and there's nothing Disney could do about it. Correct. In fact, um, uh, uh, John Oliver on one of his shows, he's kind of hinted towards that becoming the mascot for his show. And uh, kind of tongue-in-cheek as if to show that, hey, Disney, look at what I'm going to do, and you can't do anything. Mm. Mm. Well, this is interesting. So uh, there's no way Disney can sue you if you start using the Steamboat Willie Mickey, um, which is interesting to people like me, because uh, you would think if they were still using it, they they would be able to stop you. So I know they're not using it, but they are using the Disney-fied one. So in 12 years' time, we could even use that Mickey and that Minnie uh, on on our stuff, and they couldn't stop you. Exactly. And now the average consumer doesn't like. I mean, may not even recognize that the Steamboat Willie version differences between the Disney-fied version. One big difference is the Disney Mickey Mouse wears gloves, but, <laughs> but mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's, that's finer. Like, you know, who's going to notice that? Uh, now, the trademark Disney's been really good about. Trademarks never expire. Uh, so as long as the company continues to renew the trademarks, you cannot use the branding, you cannot call it Mickey Mouse. You could use the image, uh, but they, they're holding on to the brand, so that gives them some a little bit of protection. But for the most part, if somebody creates it, puts, you know, anyone can sell a T-shirt, put the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey on the shirt, and there's no, no copyright infringement. But the bigger issue, and I don't know if you want to, if that was part of what you wanted to talk about, is, and, and maybe it's on point with Halloween just around the corner is derivative works, like people taking the Disney-fied version of Mickey Mouse and doing whatever they want, creating a, a, a horror version mm -hmm. uh, of Mickey Mouse, um, uh, a, a rated X version of Mickey Mouse, that any of these things, and Disney would be helpless to try to change that. We've seen that with another uh, expired trademark, and that's with Winnie the Pooh, the movie Blood and Honey is a, a, a horror version of this beloved children's mm. story, and and there's there's nothing that could be done. I mean, the movies uh, a lot of people that have have seen it, it's, 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 they're they're in utter shock. Right, that's awful, absolutely awful. Um, uh, yes. So, could you take the Steamboat uh, uh, Willie version and say um, uh, Mickey's in the house? See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is that the kind of thing that keeps people like you in business? It it it, it does. It <laughs> keeps us up at night uh, wondering as well. I mean, that there's so many different uh, complex angles to that. And, mm. and, and part of it is it's just, you know, the copyright is one aspect. You also have trademarks uh, and consumer confusion is something that Disney could try and claim if somebody ends up using the actual trademarks uh, for Mickey Mouse. 
But this is a problem that's going to continue. I mean, I don't have the actual date, but Bugs Bunny's not expiration of that copyright's not that far off. Bambi, Peter Pan, uh, got Batman, Superman. A lot of these uh, characters, when they become part of the public domain, the you will see variations of uh, the story with no legal recourse. John. And, John Rizvi is the patent professor. If you have something you want patented, get hold of the patentprofessor.com. Uh, John, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you very much for coming on, talking to us about Mickey. January the 1st is the, uh, the day you can all start using the Steamboat uh, Willie version of Mickey Mouse. So there you go. Uh, John, have a great weekend. You too.